Hey everybody, what's up from Pokemon Classics, reminding you that the classics never go out of style. Guys, it's here. It's been knocking on our door, but the storm has finally arrived. Logan Paul, 25th anniversary, major supply crunches, you name it, it's right before us right now. And so never before has education been more important. Now there's a ton of voices out there in the Pokemon community, some of which are new to the YouTube space, some of which have been here for ages. And today's theme of the video is to encourage you guys to be patient and to do your research. Those are the two fundamentals to any good decision making. And so I would discourage you guys from making any of your decisions based on any one voice, including myself. We all have our biases, we all have our presuppositions, and we all have our certain go-to areas of the market where we have some limited experience and expertise. So with that in mind, I thought I would share with you guys today what some of my go-to PokeTubers are for looking for information, because really, that's the best thing you can do for yourself, is do some research. Because if I'm correct, I think things are gonna get pretty wild here in just a matter of days. Let's check it out. So there are a number of amazing PokeTubers out there covering all sorts of different areas of the hobby, whether it's vintage, modern, sealed collectors, or those that provide more entertainment-driven content like pack openings. However, personally, my area of interest is in vintage and in more of the financing areas. That's typically what I'm looking for on YouTube, and that's mainly what you're going to see in this list. So if you're like me and you enjoy a deep dive into the economics behind Pokemon cards, I think this video is just for you. At number 10, we have Leonhart and the Heart Squad. Now this channel is primarily dedicated towards pack openings, giving equal play to vintage and modern product. I have to tip my hat though to Leon Hart and the Heart Squad. This is a family-friendly channel that works as a good ambassador to Pokemon at large, appealing to the younger generations, pulling new blood, new faces into the hobby. I also can't overstate how much good Leon Hart has done with his charitable work. Partnering with NAMI for mental health raising tremendous amounts of money from the Pokemon community to support a cause that's admirable, and that's something that I have tremendous respect for. So if you're looking for a good time, opening some packs, getting excited about Pokemon, Leonhardt's one of those channels that you just can't ignore, and that's why I had to include him on this top 10 list. At number nine on this list is ZNG Emporium. A longtime collector and fellow member of the E4 community ZNG Emporium provides a unique look at the behind the scenes of running a Pokemon business. Now, when you go to this channel, you're gonna find a variety of content. Some of it is market advice, some of it is an inside look at packaging, shipping, and selling cards, some of it is searching for new deals on eBay, and others are just strategies and tips for investing in general. There's definitely something for everyone on this channel. Not only do I find ZNG Emporium tremendously insightful and informative, but I also like the straightforward nature of the commentary. When you watch these videos, you're not necessarily going to see flashy editing or extensive cuts and sound effects, but what you are going to get is a straightforward, honest approach to dealing with Pokemon cards. And I appreciate that. So shout out to ZNG Emporium, definitely deserving of a spot on this list. At number 8 is PokeRev, one of the fastest growing Pokemon YouTube channels of 2020. Now this channel primarily focuses on pack openings, whether they're vintage packs or modern packs, PokeRev handles some of each. One of the things that's most notable about this YouTube channel though, is PokeRev's pioneering of the way box breaks happen, pre-selling the packs ahead of time and then opening them in a live stream. Not only that, but what some people may not realize is despite being a relatively new to the YouTube space, PokeRev is an experienced collector and seller of Pokemon cards for a number of years. He goes way back. So with that, he incorporates that background, that perspective of a collector, pulling that into an entertainment-driven type of channel. I have to acknowledge the large community that PokeRev has grown in such a minimal amount of time. It's impressive. And with videos going up to his channel regularly, covering all sorts of different eras of product, different types of videos, pack opening videos, behind the scenes videos, collecting videos, there really is something there for just about everyone. 
Next up at number seven is Deep Pocket Monster. Now this channel really is a breath of fresh air. When you visit Pat Flynn's Pokemon channel, you're going to be astounded by the cinematic beauty of what you're about to see. Everything is visually amazing, and the production quality is really second to none. Nothing proves this better than Pat Flynn's live stream for 5,000 subscribers, which coincidentally he had 10,000 subscribers when that went live, but what a party that was. From the sound effects, to the visuals, to the hype video, to lead in to the live stream, it was spectacular. In addition to that, Pat Flynn is a relatively new collector, and yet he brings this conversational, humble, casual approach to his conversations with people in the videos. There's this brand new enthusiasm that I can't quite describe. You'll just have to see it for yourself. So welcome to the community, Pat. I hope you're here for the long run and what a great addition that you make. Guys, definitely go check out Pat Flynn if you haven't done so. Trust me, you won't regret it. At number six is Pokemon Radar. Now, one of my favorite podcasters in the Pokemon space has got to be Pokemon Radar. And when it comes to long form content, if you're looking for detailed conversations, discussions between collectors, Pokemon Radar needs to be on your radar. This is a bit of a shameless plug, but I was featured on one of those collectible conversation episodes, and it was really a great time. Pokemon Radar brings a wealth of information, insights, and experience to the table in every one of his conversations. Pokemon Radar is also not afraid to pull in diverse perspectives, including those that might deviate from his own stated beliefs. That's something I have tremendous respect for, and something that I think we should all seek out are all of the different ideas in the hobby so that we can make our own informed decisions. At number five is Squeak's Game World. Now Squeak's and Pokemon Radar work together regularly on a Pokemon podcast. However, Squeaks runs his own channel providing commentaries mainly on Pokemon news and on financial information, and he has so much charisma that I love his channel. There are not a lot of people out there that can break down such complicated concepts into tangible and easily digestible pieces of information the way that Squeaks can. For case in point, one of his most recent videos on the three pillars of the hobby discusses the relationship between collectors, flippers, and investors. Now this video is a video that I think everyone should see, and it perfectly articulates the ideas behind the hobby and kind of the underlying market influences that we're currently seeing in 2021. Needless to say, I find Squeaks to be a natural teacher, and his honest opinions and disclosures of his own biases and his own positions in the hobby is something that I really admire and respect. This channel is a gem. It's one that I would strongly recommend, especially if you're looking into a deep dive of all the different market dynamics that are happening presently. Check out Squeak's Gaming World. Ad number four is Pokenomics with Jake and Raffi. Now what this channel lacks in simplicity, it makes up for and then some in value. This channel is primarily dedicated to financial talk and market discussions, and what a deep analysis Jake provides on a regular basis. Now, one of the things that I love about Jake personally is the sense of empathy and the perspective he brings to the hobby. Ethics are clearly important to him, and he has a very authentic character. In fact, every Sunday he hosts a live Q&A with all of his viewers, all of his followers, taking question after question for hours at a time, providing detailed commentary and analysis. It's that type of intimacy that I think is amazing to have in Pokemon, to have that sort of give and take between YouTuber and audience. So I respect that immensely. I might have to do a Q&A of my own here, maybe when we get to 2,000 subscribers. In short, when you visit Pokenomics, you're gonna find detailed market analysis delivered in a kind and compassionate packaging. At number three is Gem Mint Pokemon. Now this is an oldie, but a goodie. Zach, Gem Mint Pokemon and I go back, way back years and years ago, helping each other as set collectors. He's a man after my own heart. Now, Zach is probably the most notable and best set collector out there in the entire world. To me, though, the thing that sets apart a Gem Mint Pokemon video from all of the others is the unbridled enthusiasm that Zach has for Pokemon. Whether it's opening a pack or receiving back his PSA returns, there's no result that isn't met without appreciation and joy, something that I think the rest of us could learn from. While Gem Mint Pokemon doesn't publish nearly as many videos as before, the videos that are published have withstood the test of time, 
providing a unique perspective back on Pokemon collecting history, providing detailed knowledge on grading cards, and even offering insights into some variations on specific cards that would have been relatively unknown to the rest of the hobby. So I think we all owe a great debt and tremendous gratitude to Gem Mint Pokemon. Ad number two is TCA Gaming. Another long-standing pillar in the hobby, TCA Gaming, or the Charizard Authority, is a channel that has a diversity of content built up over a number of years. Now this content likely appeals to both collectors and those just looking for entertainment, as TCA Gaming hosts pack openings, product news, as well as giving us a first-hand perspective into what it's like to run a Pokemon business. TCA Gaming has been part of the hobby forever, building one of the most impressive Pokemon card collections any of us have ever seen. This endeavor is documented regularly on his YouTube channel, and one of the things that I like the most about it personally is when we get to go on a journey as a collector, but also a business owner, and see it firsthand through Rusty's eyes. He's definitely an asset to this hobby, and a YouTuber that I suggest you mark and subscribe to and get him on your regularly watch list, because you might just learn something, and I guarantee you'll be entertained along the way. At number one on this list is S.M. Pratt. Now, S.M. Pratt is responsible for laying much of the foundation for where the hobby currently stands today. His YouTube channel is not famous for its bells and whistles, and has minimal, if any, editing. However, what it lacks in editing, you're definitely gonna find in deep financial market analysis and trends. Personally, I would compare each and every SM Pratt video to almost its own unique TED talk delivered by a Pokemon expert. And that's because Scott's been around Pokemon for so long, encountering every wave of the hobby, that he's built this historical knowledge unlike just about anyone, save for maybe a few. Scott delivers information that's simple, yet practical, and that's just the way I like it. Rather than telling you what to buy or what's going to happen in the future, instead, it's a short informational session learning some of the fundamentals of the market. And at the end of the day, it's those fundamentals that everybody needs to understand if you're going to be a successful collector in whichever avenue you're pursuing. Maybe someday Scott will upgrade his production quality, adding an introduction video, some title graphics, some camera angles, flashing lights, you name it. But until then, I'll stick with the older, the rarer, the minter, the better. And that's personally how I like it. Well folks, 2021 is coming in hot with Logan Paul box break, the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, supply issues in every facet of the hobby, it's never been more important to have research. Do your research, be patient, make sure that you're exploring all the options and you know what your goals are before you rush into any major financial decisions. It's important to remember that there is not one definitive voice out there that knows what's going to happen in the future. And I would strongly encourage you not to take just one person's advice, including me on this channel. Do your research, reach out, Watch a number of different content creators, immerse yourself in the hobby, and then make your own decisions. There's nothing wrong with being patient, there's nothing wrong with being educated, and it's my hope that you can do both of those things. Anyway guys, I'm Pokemon Classics, reminding you that the classics never go out of style. Be safe, be healthy, and be ready. This could be a wild ride. We'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Classics. Bye everybody!